Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. Talking today about another strategy or a play, so to speak, on how to beat a, a pusher. Um, I've always thought that it's a really good idea to get into the net as often as possible against a pusher because they're very comfortable staying at the baseline and seeing you at the baseline. Whether you can wail away or you're just trying to push back to them, they're way more comfortable seeing you back than coming in. So by getting into the net and making them a little more uncomfortable is, is a really good idea against a push. So this is a play, it's a chip and charge. Uh, traditionally on a second serve against a pusher, they're going to a lot of times just patty cake the ball in because their MO is that they don't want to miss shots. So they're not going to take a lot of risk on their second serve. So the majority of, of people that push uh, generally hit second serves that are really easy to manage all different types of shots. So whether you have a really good slice or just an average slice, I want you guys trying this chip and charge play where uh, you come in and you, you slice the return of serve and immediately follow in behind it hoping to get a put away volley on the very next shot. All right, now, a lot of you know that a pusher tends to be really good at lobbing. So the one thing to avoid here after hitting, hitting the slice return a serve and following it in, don't over close. Don't race right up on top of the net because more often than not, they'll just flick a lob up in the air and get it over the top of you. All right, so make a nice split step at the time they make contact, wherever that leaves you, and then try to move through that next volley as best you can. Okay, again, to, to play a nice slice, you guys want to be somewhere near continental grip, if not in continental grip. Try to move through that, that chip a little bit. That's why we call it a chip and charge, because we want to have that nice little bit of footwork attached to the shot so that we're moving in and establishing a good position at the net, putting pressure on this pusher. All right, so guys, I'm already in my my continental grip because I know the second serves coming tends to float it in and I'm on my way all right you can see you don't have to you don't have to worry if that first volley is not a put away just make sure to hit away from them and again they're a pusher they tend to make a lot of balls so Stay relaxed up there. Recognize where the open court is though every time you're hitting a ball. Let's check it out again. Chip and charge. Already in continental grip. All right, and trying to attack that next ball. I don't want to get in a really long rally with a push, whether I'm at the net or at the baseline. So especially after we chip and, and charge in, as early as possible, try to put, put a volley away on them. All right, so start using that chip and charge play. Again, make sure they've got that weak second serve. There are some players out there that tend to push from the baseline and actually have really good second serves. At that point, you might not be using this, but if they consistently show you a weak, floaty second serve, Start getting that grip over early, slice that return, follow it in, and try to start knocking off some good volleys at the net. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.